In essence, a stream chart is basically a stacked area chart with the addition of one extra column to offset each set of data points along the x-axis by 50% in the negative direction to then center everything around the zero line. It's purely presentation, um, but the one drawback is now your uh, labels along here to then show what the value was that now doesn't really mean anything because we've offset everything by 50% so the values here according to this axis are reduced by half so where we see 13 that's now crossing to seven and a half and so on 16 is crossing to eight so the way around this if you wanted to if you wanted to add labels on here no no <coughs> don't try and put labels on a stream chart because they, they will only give you pain and suffering i don't know why i recorded that or why i even did it in the first place so with a stream chart instead of trying to show actual values on an axis um because you're not looking for accuracy so much as you're illustrating something. So, uh, I mean, if we go back to the internet one, wherever that was, the browser one, let's go back here. Where was it? Yeah. So if you're, if you're illustrating something like the, uh, the browser usage over time, the numbers don't really mean much so much as you're looking at the shapes and the change over time. So you can see with Internet Explorer trailing off, you can see Google Chrome muscling in. Uh, the intricacies of the actual numbers underlying the data aren't so important as the as the picture being shown itself. So, um, oh yeah, sorry, that's this line is in here to show the center line. But yes, that's that's it. the long and the short of it. Stream charts. If you have data that isn't too complex, I mean, we've only got a few browsers in here. I mean, this could be cleaned up a lot. There's two lots of Mozilla's. I don't know. That's the data set that I got. Um, and these are just things I've added after the fact. I just went on Google Images and found some, some logos just to stick in there to make it look more interesting. But uh, yeah, so that, that's the that's um, that stream charts. If I go back to the beginning, oh, here's another demo I did. But that, yeah, that's um, I have no idea what that one's doing. But yeah, all you're essentially doing, and we can do it again with a fresh data set just to show how I do it again. So let's go ahead and add one just to show how we do it. So since we've got a fresh start, I've combined the two Mozilla's into one to keep the data set simple. Insert, let's just do a stacked area chart. Just move to the top, make it a bit bigger. So let's add an extra column here. And this will be offset. And I'm going to say sum of everything here times negative 0.5. So that will be, and let's just paste the formatting in there, and let's just include that in our chart. So just so I don't race through things so you can see what I'm doing, I'll go back to this formula. So my offset is the sum of everything in that. The formula in B is the sum of everything in that row for that date in this case. So I'm summing everything here. And then to offset that whole thing downwards, I'm going to times it by minus 50%. And if I just uh, go, go ahead and if I click on the charts, and if when you make the chart it was fairly tidy, as in the range you selected was contiguous, you can just add that column by dragging cross then that adds it in if that doesn't work or if you've got something more complex going on you can just do the uh, select data add data 
and series the old-fashioned way okay and that will still work now things have gone slightly awry because the negative has been added at the top so in this case we have to do select the offset and move it all the way up so it's right at the top so it's the first thing in this list and then everything works like expected uh, but there's yeah there's there's two ways of doing it so if you had a slightly messy if we go oops if we go in here and they go select data again up the top here where it says chart data range if you see um, like a normal formula in here a reference to a range like so that means things are nice and tidy and all this stuff at the bottom here will be filled out automatically typically with your um, x-axis in the left hand side but um, yeah anyway so I digress the main part here is one getting the offset so everything's nice and central and two this sort of uh, axis is kind of worthless now so we don't really need that um, it's just about presentation now so let's just increase the font size we can get rid of the uh, reference in the legend to the offset because we don't need that to make the font size even bigger yeah a bit too big uh, for the axis here for the x-axis I might just change this to uh, years so 12 months <clears throat> I'm gonna change the number format to just show years and is this an actual date yes it is okay right finally on here I'm going to increase the font size and that's that's about it really this is the same the same uh, setup as before the only, th only thing I did with this one was to just add some uh, some flavor with some things like uh, gradients and so on um, I may as well <laughs> I'll include this random stuff as a download as well if it's for whatever any use if you want to have a chart that morphs from a area chart into a stream chart for no reason then uh, I would include this too right see you next time